Today I will be showing you how to make LEGO Universe work again, because it was previously shut down back in 2012, and recently there have been some people who came out with a emulator for it, so let's just bring up my notes really quick. Step 1, go to timetechsoftware.com. I'll post the uh, link in the description. So, just go there. And you download the latest version, or re and latest version and recommended version of their client and server. And you have to save the server to the desktop because if you save it anywhere else, you won't be able to find it. So click this link. Downloaded this for Windows. The Mac one is broken, so if you have a Mac, you're sort of out of luck until they come up with a new one. And you also want to download this server if you want to localhost it. Okay. Download and install Visual Studio 2013 Express desktop version. What people don't understand is that you don't need to do anything with it once you're done with it. You download it and then you're done with it. You don't do anything. After you download and install it, you're done. So just Google search it, it'll pop up all over the place. Um, these are all out of date, so don't even try and use these. They're all really old. See version 4 and version 3. Um, extract the ser server files from your zip folder because it will save as a zip folder either with WinRAR or 7-zip anything that will work so it will show up looking like this not with this icon though, it's just sort of glitching you right click it, open with or extract with I just use open with and WinRAR, 7-zip, whatever, I use 7-zip then Looney Server will be in here and um once that's extracted, you can just... Oh, I closed that. Whoopsie. Anyways, um... So when you finally get it, um, extracted, you open it, you go to Looney Server, you go to Debug, and you go to, um, Config. It should say .ini, but I have it all, um... Great, it's opening in Visual Studio. That's not what I wanted. Okay, so I opened it with a notepad, and this first portion right here, redirect IP, it'll have an actual IP address here, like blah 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 blah. And if you want to um, play localhost, you just replace this right here, whatever IP is right here, with localhost. Do not delete anything after here, because then it won't work. So just replace localhost, nothing more, nothing less, just that. And then you can exit off of it. Okay, step six. Go to this area. Program files times 86, Lego software, Lego universe, and client. And then you open the boot file. So, computer. Program files times 86. Scroll down to find Lego software. Open Lego universe go to client and then you want to find boot this one right here okay server name doesn't matter patch server IP if it doesn't already say this then change it to this because this is what you need cache.legouniverse.com and as for auth server IP this is what's really needed change it from whatever IP is there or website or whatever to localhost if you want to localhost the server change it to localhost and you should be good and then all you have to do is X off of this you can leave this up because you'll need it later so just shrink it um, see so it go back to the server again so is this the server yes and you go into debug yet once again except this time you click Looney server double click it pulls it all up and then you go back to client again if you still have it up if not then go and open it again and this time you double click on Lego Universe which is the uh, launcher wait for it to load, there it goes
Hmm. So it'll load. It's loading slow for me because I've got a bunch of extra things running in the background, like this recording thing you see at the top. I don't know how to get rid of that, but oh well. As long as this is done loading, I'm gonna pause and wait for it to be done loading. Okay, so it's finally done loading. Now you just log in with any username and password. That's the username you want to carry. Yes, enter. A B C G H H L. Sign in. And then this will pull up. And now you just pick any of these characters and play it, and it will load. See? Now I'm gonna have to wait again. Oh, nope, it's going. I guess I don't have to pause it. I think it's cool how you still have the same ads and stuff. You literally have the entire game on your computer. It doesn't take up that much space either, like a few gigs at most. Come on, you slope. I'm just gonna pause it. Come on, you slowpoke. Okay, see, look, this is not fake. See? 8 13 2014 2 17 pm. I did not edit this in. See, oh, this is really laggy. It's usually not this bad. But yeah. See? It's all working. The server is very incomplete. Only a couple of the maps are available, and this is the one that's closest to completion because this is the only area with actual minifigures in there and stuff. This is really laggy. Okay, so I'll do a video later with the um, actual exploring the worlds and stuff. But for now, this is how you get it to work. Wow, it's laggy. Must be the recorder. Whatever. Okay, I hope you enjoyed the video. Hope this helped you in any way whatsoever. If it didn't, I hopefully I can help you in the comments. So uh, have a good day, and bye. Yeah.